Bless up, bless up my people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl and Isabel Rose. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Thanks to the returning subscribers. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn the post notification bell on. Put it on all so you won't miss an upload from me. On the road to 20k, help me to get there my people. So in this video my people, a popular lawyer gone down in Zadie Gardens early this morning. As well as the KSA MC says that they will have stricter and stronger measures coming as it pertains to building monitoring process stay tuned for the details at hand don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel run go over to my other channel subscribe over there get that channel to 1k please and thanks it's called bell rose shorts media So according to news circulating my people, an attorney Sandra Risdens of Nunes Scofield Dillion shot and killed by two men on the Washington Boulevard on her way to work. Sandra Annette Risden is a 63 years old, born in October 1960, is of a Bryan Hill District Crooked River PO in Clarendon. She was pounced upon by harmed men around 7 this morning and was pronounced by Dr. Brianna Campbell at 7.26 a.m. We're not sure of what's the motive behind this killing and so the police are on the scene, processing the scene, investigating um, to the fullest extent. Let us see, my people, what will become of this investigation and it's such a sad one to see that you know women are being gone down in such manner and yet still we keep hearing that the crime is down where when early this morning this woman was attacked i'm not sure if it's coming from any case that she might be affiliated with i'm not sure if she is an um criminal lawyer or what but let us stay tuned for more updates and details but it's such a sad one you know may our soul rest in peace and my sincere condolences to the family and friends of this lawyer meanwhile in this segment mayor of kingston council deroy williams says that the kingston and st andrew municipal cooperation will no longer allow single officers to conduct inspections of any building development and this comes after the whole you know national water commission mark barnett and his wife as it pertains to building breach permit and all of that where we seen where ksmac and nepa has been accused of dropping the ball on this investigation and so far mr barnett and his wife are not prosecuted by the dpp because of time lapse and so the KSMAC says that they will do a thorough investigation. And so part of his solution to a problem like this is saying that they will, you know, come up with stricter and more tightened rule as it pertains to building monitoring process. Take a listen to a part of an interview that he did. And you have to have a system where you continue to introduce controls that basically address gaps and weaknesses in your process to ensure that you, as, as best as possible, don't have room for that. Because once you have those weaknesses, and there are people who will, at times, seek to exploit those weaknesses, and that's what the KSAMC has been doing over time. That's an issue that we are looking into. That's an issue that we have introduced some measures already, but we're still going further. Where we are saying no single person will conduct inspections on any single development. 
Mm-hmm. So we are now using multiple officers. So that's not just the issue of collusion. I, when you have multiple officers doing inspections, it, for something to go through like that, it would have to involve collusion, meaning people would have to be colluding to, 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 to defraud the system. A lot of these issues are technical legal matters. When it comes to staff initiating a disciplinary process against staff members, that's not something you do carelessly. That's not something you do carelessly. You have to take a series of steps that you have to take. You have to dot I's and cross T's. But else in the end, you end up being sued also by, by, by the people that you have initiated proceedings against. So, so the process of initiating legal proceedings against, let's say, against staff members is, is a very, very detailed process that has to be carefully done. I'm going to weigh in my people in the comment section and tell me what I think I'm going to drop an honest opinion in the comment section. You know, we're still awaiting many other persons who have been murdered innocently. We're still awaiting justice to come for them. Like, you know, Donnelly Donaldson. We are waiting for justice to come for Melissa Silvera. We are waiting for justice to come for, you know, Chantel. We're waiting for justice to come for Jasmine Deans and many other persons be it a man or woman or child we're waiting for justice for those people just the same and it's such a sad um day and a sad situation to see what is going on in our beautiful island of jamaica where the justice system is so flawed not many success cases as it pertains to you know murdering criminal activities too much criminals walking free to be out there to do the same act over and over. And I'm so saddened at this moment to see that so many of our young ladies, since of recently in St. James, three big hardback men kidnapped and raped a 14 year old little girl. And the communities, the people are so silent. These are the things we want to come out and protest about too. Right? The ill treatment of our children, the ill treatment of our little young girls. How can you find pleasure, three big hardback men, how can you find pleasure in a 14 years old little girl? And the community is so silent. The people are so silent. Where are the protests? In situations like these inhumane wicked wicked cruel situations like these my people I'm so heartbroken over certain things that's taking place but we're still praying and knowing that there's a God and we're still hoping for even a little bit of justice don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel run go over to my other platform Instagram and Facebook and follow me over there at Anissa Bell Rose Check out the YouTube store, make a purchase, it goes in support of the channel. Check out the YouTube membership, you get a lot of benefits by becoming a member. We do notifications, shout out in each and every video to be a part of that. All you have to do is be the first to comment, like and subscribe and you'll be featured in the following video to come. This notification shout out goes to Noel Barr as well as Outamene. Big up yourself Outamene and big up yourself Noel Barr. Thanks for the continued support from each and every subscriber. New viewers, come on board, journey with me, join the family. Like up the video, share out the videos, support the ABR movement on the road to 20K. Play your part. Stay tuned for more videos. Get this video to at least 500 likes. Big up on yourself.